Hello everybody, let's do another Isaac run. Um, and let's actually play as Isaac this time. This is, uh... We're, going, we're trying to do a cathedral run here. We're trying to do all the characters' cathedral runs. Here's our seed. Q, Q, H, C, F, 7, 4, R. Sorry if I uh, seem a little bit out of it right now. I, that last run was kind of crazy. Kind of made my head hurt. But I want to do one more run before I finish off for today. So let's see if we can make this one better. <laughs> The last one I got the guillotine, and man, I don't think I'll ever pick up that item again. This is a great curse room pickup. I'll just grab it immediately. Gives you three black hearts and um, higher chances for deal with the devil, I believe. There is a tinted rock there. Uh, let's go ahead and get it. Maybe I can put it here and hit those others. I don't know if that's going to work or not. In fact, I completely missed the tinted rock. At least I got the bomb, though, so... Alright. I'll grab these. And we're sitting pretty right now. Now I need some good item upgrades, good damage stuff, and we will be good to go. So yeah, there's a, there's a short list of items in my head that I'm like, I will never pick these up anymore. Um, Guillotine's probably the top of that list right now. I think the item is completely useless and I think it makes... I don't know, it made me sick to play as it because it's like I couldn't... I can't control it. Um, there's some other items that I'm like I'm not a big fan of but they are good in some certain situations. Anti-gravity tears is one of those I think. Um, so is uh, Ludovic Ludovico technique like you know honestly I haven't ever had a Ludovico technique that I didn't like but it does change the way you play the game and that's not always what you want um, last night I had a run where I had the scythe uh, death touch or whatever it is and they were huge from one of my tear effects I don't remember which one it was or it may have just been like high damage because they were big they were big size, and I was shooting them super, super, super freaking fast. And then uh, I picked up a Ludovico technique, and it was just like one... Oh, I also had homing tears. I had Spoonbender also, which was... <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Sorry, I'm like my ear itched for some reason there. Um, this is Polyphemus. Alright, so this is going to make this run a uh, winner. <laughs> we win, basically. Um, and that's good because the last run sucked. So, this is going to be more fun for me. Let's just go check out the rest of this floor. We're, we're going to have fun with this one. You know what? Let's see if we can get boss rush mode. I don't think I've done it with Isaac. So, let's just let's kind of try to plow through this. Famine just needs to stop showing up on the first floor. I don't know why this happens all the freaking time. Like, I get him on the first floor more than any other boss now. And it sucks because I don't want to fight him at all. He just drops his stupid cube of meats, which are occasionally useful, but uh, not what I want to play with. Thanks for the cube of meat. I'll just uh, piss off forever. I don't remember what I was talking about now. Items that suck. Um, I think guillotine is one of my least favorite items. Cursed eye is one of my least favorite items. Um, I don't know. I don't think there's any other things that I just absolutely will never pick up. Those two I will absolutely never pick up. Gemini is fun. I was watching Northern Line. He was talking about how... I think it was Northern Line. It could have been one of the other people I watch. I do watch several Isaac players. Um, somebody was talking about how like they wanted you to be able to pick up multiple Geminis and it would extend the, the length of your Gemini attacks and I'm like well what if you picked up multiple Geminis and they actually were multiple Geminis attached to you so you go through and you have like four Geminis attached to your head I was like that would be freaking awesome and hilarious uh, we're not gonna do that 
We're gonna go fight Monstro, and I think I'm just gonna go on to the next floor after this fight. Because we're gonna try to do boss rush here. If I can get some other tier upgrades, this this run's just gonna be amazing. Polyphemus is like the best item to start off with. And then to get the ceremonial robes and the Gemini, it's like, oh yes, this is a tears upgrade too. So tears upgrade with Polyphemus, definitely what I want. Uh, do I want to risk take a hit for bloody friend or headless baby? I don't think so. Let's not do that. Now, if we get a, uh, I don't think we're gonna be getting deals with the angel because of our sin upgrade. If we do, and we get Sacred Heart, that would be. Um, like, I might just jizz in my pants right here, not to be crude or anything. We gotta deal with the angel. Wasn't what I wanted. Okay. God. Here, have all of the spirit hearts. Just take all of them. Thank you, game. I think the game feels bad for me picking up guillotine last time. I think this is just karma evening it out some. They're like, all right, well, you didn't have to pick up guillotine, but you did, so we're going to give you a good run this time. I think that's exactly what's happening. Uh, let's go back and find our item room before we leave. Should I go left or down? I'm gonna go down. Oh, I should have took damage there. That was bad damage. Uh, is this worth checking out? No, it's not. So I'm trying to think of some other games to play besides Isaac, but every time I get around to playing a different game, I'm like, I'd rather be playing Isaac. I was like this with Dark Souls for a while. It's like there's all these games come out and I buy them and I'm like, I don't even want to play them, I just want to play Dark Souls. Uh, Tiny Planet is one of those that I don't think is ever worth picking up either. Unless you have some like crazy tier effects. Um, I don't think I've picked it up on this, ch on this channel though. So let's try it out with Polyphemus. It's probably not very good. And it may have just killed our run, even though, you know, we were doing like amazing. Let's just let's just run with it and see what we can do though. We're just gonna do this for fun. Poly or uh, Tiny Planet's kinda strange because it's almost better to shoot things behind you. Um, because of the way the tears go. It's almost better to walk backwards towards things and shoot. This guy is just going to slide everywhere, isn't he? Mostly, I just like, when I have Tiny Planet, I just press in directions and dodge attacks and hope that I hit something. <laughs> I, I do have to dodge the attacks, though. I hate... Oh, come on now. Gertie. Gertie, you're ruining my stuff here. Uh, damage and HP up. Okay. I'm not too upset about that. We'll be okay. Um, I hope we'll be okay anyways. If we die on this, it's because of Tiny Planet. Definitely. But now I won't ever have to pick up Tiny Planet again unless I just, like, think it'll be good. Plus, it may be interesting. It probably will make it where we're not able to do our boss rush mode, though, because it does kill things a lot slower than actually just, like, shooting them in the face. Well, Jim and I will help us out with that, though. And if I get some, like, crazy tier upgrades, it'll help, too. Alright. The moon? We'll use it. Got two keys out of it. Works for me. There's a rainbow poop there. I'm probably going to bust it by accident, yep. Tiny Planet just tends to do that. It just blows up whatever it wants to blow up. Tiny Planet don't care. Ok, 
Okay, these guys are like ideal enemies because they're gonna follow me. So I can just run away from them and shoot behind me like that. Finish them off, gentlemen. Thank you. These guys are gonna be a pain in the ass. Because Gemini's not gonna be able to hit them. At least they die with one hit. That wasn't too bad at all. Alright. Sneak back through here. I should be shooting this way. Come on now. We got enough keys, we can go into our shop without too much consequence. And we get BFF. I'll, t I'll take it. It'll make Gemini better. Gemini is already amazing, and now he's going to be even more amazing. We got enough keys, we can open that, no problem. I'm going to find our uh, item room, though. Oh. So, I, if this run doesn't take too long, I may do another video for a different game. I've been thinking about trying out this game called 39 Steps. I do a lot of Humble Bundle buys. I think I got it on either Humble Bundle or Indie Gala. Um, and I meant to do, meant to play it yesterday. I was going to try to do new games on Tuesdays. Like, try out new games on Tuesdays. But I ended up just playing Isaac yesterday. Um, because I like Isaac a lot. I had that map on, our, on my screen and I did not mean for that. It was a little bit distracting. What do we got here? Speedball. Alright. I'll take the speed upgrade. The shot speed upgrade is not bad. Fuck. Shot speed upgrades pretty nice too. Took way too much hits there. I didn't want to. Uh, let's see if we can find a second secret room right here, maybe. Got goat head. That's a great pickup for us. Um, that's not gonna be helpful. Maybe I will get something awesome here. I'm guaranteed deal with the devil or deal with the angel now. We need to be looking the other way so that our tiny planet hits more often. Gemini's doing a ton of damage. Oh, come on now. I hate these spiders. Alright, we got dog food. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to trade that away. Uh, neither one of these I'm very excited about at all. Missing page one or two, whatever. Whatever it is, it sucks. Uh, the item generator is not great either but it may take it no let's just let's just go either one of those are just are, are worth taking at all we could still be on par for a a <coughs> boss rush mode sorry I got a tickle in my throat there Tiny planet's not sucking, not not sucking too bad right now. It's workable. Is it worth going in there? Maybe. Come on now. Those guys are gonna be a pain in the ass with Tiny Planet, obviously. Gemini is probably gonna be my main source of damage here. Yeah. Which is sad because I had Polyphemus and everything. Maybe I'll get something cool. Maybe I'll get some kind of cool pickup. Can always hope. I'm trying to think of what would be cool here. Like, uh. Well. Mm, I don't know. The scythe would be nice. Not sure if I'm gonna be able to do this or not. Nope, obviously not. Let's just go into the curse room. Guppy. Ugh. This is like the one guppy item I can't pick up right now. Just can't. I would die. Nine times. Tear him up, Gemini. Okay. 
Magic Mush is really good. Gonna make me shoot more often, gonna make him do more damage. I'm gonna pick this up right now or else I'm gonna forget about it. Hopefully I won't take three hits. Or step on any more spikes like an idiot. This is Depths 1. Sorry, I gotta remind myself sometimes. Is it worth two keys to get six bombs? Uh, yeah, I think it is actually. Since I've got f six keys, let's just do it. Probably no reason to go to the shop, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Because it's greed. I'm really glad to get greed here. Um, Gemini's gonna hit him through the wall there. That's nice. What we got? Full health. Okay. Well, now I know which one's the full health pill, and I will be able to use it more effectively at some other later point. Come on, Gemini, take it, take these guys out. Well, my tears did some good work there, actually. I think a tears upgrade would be really nice right now. I would like to be shooting these a lot faster. Uh, we got eight bombs. Let's blow some of these up. We could get dark hearts. Could just get a lot of money too. Magician, that could be fun. Lovers, uh, not very useful. Am I guppy right now? I'm not guppy. Why am I so happy? Polyphemus makes your eyes look like that? No, Polyphemus makes you have one single eye. So what happened there? What is that? Oh, magic mush. Magic mush does that. That's right. Um. Okay. Yeah. Let's go to our secret room. I'll take those and leave. Second secret room should be in this room, I would think, right here. No? Okay, well, it's probably up there in the top left or something. Um, we're going to take Magician with us. Could be interesting. Against War? Do I want to use Magician against War? Sure. Homing Tiny Planet Polythemus Tears. Get away from me! Oh my god. Freaking bombs. Alright, no more bombs to worry about at least. And Gemini should tear him up, hopefully. Don't want to take any more hits. I don't want to lose that eternal heart. Alright, got blood clot. Or no, that's Cuban meat. What am I talking about? You don't get blood clot for more. Nuns have it. Completely useless for me right now. Can't give me Sacred Heart? Sacred Heart would be like the best pickup right now, I think. Um, I would love like fear shot, anything that makes my tears bigger and um, do more damage, basically, is what I want. What the hell's happening here? Like mom's eye would be fun too, or like um, Loki's horns. Anything to make me like shoot them all out in multiple directions would be fun. Uh, technology is that even gonna work? Jesus, I don't know. What, I don't know what this is gonna do. This could like completely screw us up, or it could make it better actually. But I think it negates the polythemus. It may make it do more damage. I don't know. I don't know what's going on in this run now. Well, it looks like we're doing pretty good damage. I don't know. I'm going to buy this just for future use. Um, I'll buy that too and then I'll donate the rest. Alright. Looking for the exit. Our damage is nice. I'm, I'm not upset with it at all. Uh, I got two keys. What is this, mom? This is mom. Um, let's go find mom. Kind of wish I would have kept the other tidy planet now. Oh, I got a super meat boy. When did this happen? Well, second level meat boy, anyways. He definitely needs to be using used on mom's foot. If I can get my ass out of the way in time.
Gemini is doing work against the little body parts that are sticking out. Thank you. We did get Bashrut's mode. Okay, let's go grab this first. Three soul hearts. The question is, um, do I think I can actually win boss rush mode? I don't even know. We got a bunch of stuff here that I don't know how it's going to work with uh, technology or if it's going to work at all. I'm going to get the parasite. I don't think that this is, is this Epicat or is this rubber cement? It's like, I don't know how any of this shit's going to work. Let's get Parasite. I've never seen Parasite with uh, technology. It doesn't look like it does anything at all. Okay, let's try to actually win this. I don't know if it's going to happen. I don't think I've ever lost a boss rush mode. Am I shooting three rocks with technology? Usually you can't shoot three rocks with technology, so that's pretty nice. I don't know what's letting me do that. I guess uh, anti-grav, or not anti-grav, uh, tiny planet, because you can shoot through rocks with tiny planet. Has he laid any red poops at all? Yeah, I'm taking way too much damage against uh, Carrion Queen here. They do drop a lot of red hearts in this fight, so it's not easy to die, I don't think. And I've never lost a boss rush mode if I can get to it. So I don't think that's going to happen today either. Uh, this run is not very powerful, I don't think. Despite how we started off with Polythemus, I think every upgrade I've gotten has been worse <laughs> than the one before. Um, uh, at least there's not red poops all over the place. I'm just gonna kind of stay back and use my range. I got infinite range with, uh, with technology. I mean, might as well use it, right? Plus, I can shoot through rocks, so I can use them as cover. I was going to say, like, Larry Jr. should die with, like, one hit almost. If I can get the... the shot to go completely through his body. All these fistula bombs are a little annoying. I'm going to save the soul hearts on the ground. Um, for... after the boss fight. I'm just going to sit behind this rock and shoot them monster over there. Can't do anything for, for too many from behind the rocks though. Chubb and Gertie. I'm not hitting Chubb anymore. Where'd he go? Alright, there you are. Yeah, this technology shot's weird. I've gotten technology and uh, Tiny Planet before, but I've never gotten technology, t Tiny Planet and uh, Polythemus. Polyphemus. It's making me shoot slow, but the shots do more damage, it seems like. Which is how you would expect Polyphemus to work here. Have you guys seen the trailer for uh, Star Wars, the new Star Wars movie? I'm sure you have. Like, it's all over the place. Everybody's talking about it. Um, yeah, I'm, like, super excited about it. Wasn't a big fan of having J.J. Abrams do the movie. I'm like, he already did Star Trek. Why is he getting to do Star Wars also? So he basically controls our entire sci-fi uh, future. <laughs> when it comes to uh, sci-fi franchises. But um, he's a good director. I like what he did with Star Trek. I enjoy it. It's a good movie. Both of them are. Um, if he can somehow put that energy into 
Star Wars and make it good also, but also keep it different enough from his Star Trek uh, movies. That, that's the problem, is I hope he doesn't make them so similar to Star Trek that it's hard to tell the difference between the two. I'm also a little bit worried about the um, new characters, what they're going to be doing, and the, like, the story of of the movie is what's going to matter the most, I think, because they said they're not going completely based off of the uh, extended expanded universe that's already been written. So uh, it's going to be a completely new type of story, and I'm kind of curious and a little bit worried about what they're going to do with it. Alright, if you could just stop disappearing and die, that would be good. This is a little bit more tedious than my normal, my usual boss runs, and it's mostly because this technology shot is so uh, precise that it, you don't hit very often with it. Like you have to, yeah, you have to aim, and I'm not really into the whole aiming thing. I would rather just like move my joystick around and let the bullets hit things. I think it's just the head left. Yep. Got one more shot out to do it. I can just hit him. Come on now. Where are you at? There you are. Okay. We unlocked Isaac's head. And I think that's the... S well, maybe I saw that on an earlier run. It's a, not a very good item. But I don't have a spacebar item, so I might as well take it, right? It doesn't hurt. I don't know how long that bo that boss rush took, but it took way too freaking long. I know that. Ugh. So yeah, everybody's freaking out about the new um, Star Wars lightsaber that they showed that has the crossbar. It looks like a big Claymore lightsaber. Um, I think it's cool looking. I don't think it makes sense. I think it's uh, entirely logical. <laughs> I mean, real real swords came out with the crossbar to um, prevent these blades from sliding off each other and cutting the person from cutting off your hand. And you know that's exactly what would happen with a lightsaber: is that your your swords would slide off of each other, and your opponent would cut off your hand, or you would cut off your opponent's hand. Um, I mean, just ask Luke Skywalker about that. If he had a crossbar, he probably wouldn't have a little robotic paw on him now. And there wouldn't be, like, a clone made of him. Did I lose three hearts already on this floor? I guess, uh, because I went to the curse room. I, I wasn't thinking about that. I shouldn't have even gone in that curse room, obviously. Especially since I might have been able to bomb my way into it and I didn't even check. Yeah, that was bad play on my part. Hopefully I'll not regret that in the future. I may lose this run. We'll see. If I lose this run... Um, I'm going to blame it on technology. Okay, you can pop your head up now. Seriously? Thank you. Usually I think technology is a good pickup. In this case, I don't think it really was. I don't remember what the color of these pills are. Or what, what these colors do anyways. This one we don't know. It's a paralysis pill, so I don't need to bomb that other one up there. Alright. Ugh. I didn't realize it left a little creep there. Health down. Okay, thank you for that. Um, yeah, this run is taking a turn for the worse. I'm happy we got boss rush done at least. So I can at least say I accomplished something there. We were able to find our... Our, uh boss room fairly quickly. Alright. I thought I killed you. Oh, Jim and I got him there. Um, if we want to check for our second secret room, it could be here. 
No? It's not there? Okay, let's just go fight the boss. Mr. Fred. Fred's dead, man. Alright. I don't even know what kind of reference I was going for there. I was thinking Zed's dead from uh, Pulp Fiction, but then I was also thinking Freddy's dead, the final nightmare. So they kind of mix together into a reference that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Okay, Fred's easy. Fred's dead. I've uh, got a bandage there. I'll take that. Gives me a little bit more HP to trade away, but I get Krampus. I really want Krampus's head here. Krampus's head could save this run. But I got a lump of coal. And I'm not even sure that that does much of anything. I really, I don't know if that even works with technology, too. I, I was trying to pick up the red heart there. Okay, what's in the arcade? Coins, uh, donation machine, that's nice. We'll just donate a crap ton here. As much as it'll let me, anyways. Ugh. There you go. I think people that are upset over the uh, the way the lightsaber looks are the same people who are like, we don't want anything new from our movies, we just want the same thing over and over and over again. And if you change something, we're going to throw a fit about it. Well, there's Abel. We unlocked him not too long ago. He's not very good. He uh, floats around and shoots exactly what you don't want him to shoot, basically. He shoots opposite of you, so if you're shooting what you want dead, he's shooting something else. Which makes him basically useless. He also doesn't even do that much damage. Amnesia. Thank you. I wanted that, for sure. Paralysis. Okay, well, boss fight. Not even gonna mess with the rest of this floor. I hate having amnesia. Ugh. They spawned that thing right on top of me. That was kinda dickish. Put that up there and hopefully do a little bit of damage. Just dodge the tags. Abel's actually doing a little bit of damage over there. I should, I should not, like, bash him so much, I guess. He didn't do much, but he did a little bit. Alright. We'll go over here. Uh, I will blow these up, see if I can get some spirit hearts out of them. I'm not going to blow up the angel. I don't care about fighting Mega Satan right now. No spirit hearts. Alright, then. We are at the cathedral. I think we got a chance to beat Isaac here. My damage on my technology, too, is pretty nice. Uh, I could try for spirit hearts there. I'm not going to, though. I'm going to drop that there next to him and hopefully do a little damage. I hate that when he hops, he's like invincible. I don't know why that is. I don't like it though. But he was just slightly in the air there and didn't take any damage from my uh, best friend. Gemini's doing work. Got several envies, it looks like. I don't like this room at all. Can I just bomb my way out of this? I don't want to fight Envy. He's a pain in the ass. He's not, like, difficult or anything, but that fight would have took forever. And I don't want to mess with him. I'm ready to be done with this room. I'm not enjoying it a whole lot. I was at first, when I first got Polyphemus, but then I ruined it with technology. I do see that tinted rock over there, and I got a full health pill. Okay, I think this is a one run, of course. We kind of got carried a little bit here. Um, Technology is not like horrible, but it I, it does I think have a negative effect on on this run because I believe I was doing more damage before. But still, uh, this is not a difficult fight, as long as I can not get hit over and over and over again. I do still have the full health pills, so I'm not really in danger at all. But I wish I was doing more damage. 
thought I was going to get hit there. I usually don't like standing in the exact opposite diagonal corner from where the the light starts. It's usually better to stand in either the horizontal or uh, vertical opposite. I'm going to go ahead and use my full health pill just in case I accidentally get hit like twice in a row really fast or something. So I would just hate to lose at this point. I don't think I'm going to. I don't think it's possible for me to lose, but... Yeah, it's over. Alright, well, we got uh, Isaac's Isaac kill. Unlocked Isaac's tears. Unlocked the Polaroid. And, um, yeah, that's, that went okay. Wasn't the most fun run, I don't think. But, um, it was still alright. If you enjoyed the video, th please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to see more in the future. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time. Goodbye.